Hey, it's me, Pink. I, uh, made it through. I, um, let me get this out of the way. My husband's out looking for something in the driveway or something that he lost a screw, I think he said, or a bolt. It's like 12.30 at night. I was like, well, I'll just make a quick, quick update vlog really quick. Look at this beautiful necklace. I meant to tell, show it to you all earlier. Hey, you guys. Hey. It's one of the ones that I got from Kiana. I love it because, like, the keys, some of them have, some of the goodies have gems. Like this one. It's really pretty. Anyhow. I made it back home safe and sound. We had no fiascos, thank goodness. Uh, there was a police officer there. So that um, helped, I'm sure, keep things uh, at a minimum. Um, luckily, uh, my mom's old man had sobered up and had some coffee and was uh, on his best behavior. And... Um, I mentioned, I made a little video just of little clips that I had put together at the graveyard and whatnot, and um, I mentioned the sermon. Um, this preacher, boom, I mean, he was so enlightened. Hey, stop now. That's enough. Um, he gave a really interesting uh, sermon about how the things that you learn from someone. Um, okay, stop it. Okay. Like the good qualities that someone has, kind heart, and he kind of asked everybody, you know, what what is something that you remember about the, you know, her, uh, you know, she had a wonderful smile. Um, she was very kind hearted. She saw the good in everyone, is what I said. Um, she was a loving mother, one of her sons said. Um, there was, you know, she said a few, he said a few things, different qualities. And then he said, well, if you're not emulating these qualities, and he said, and I'm not saying that Billy was perfect, he said, but um, I am saying that the qualities that she had that were perfect are qualities of her emulating the spirit and and the, and if you do not uh, recognize that she had those um, good qualities and you don't try to emulate them yourself then you're not honoring her memory and he also said um, he was talking he somehow he got over on this dissension in the family and and I mean he just straight up said it if you're fighting amongst yourselves that we we as a family, you know, the world as a family, we cannot fight amongst ourselves. We need to stop fighting amongst ourselves. And he said, and if you don't, um, you know, he said, if you are fighting, wow, big old flying ant. If you're fighting amongst yourselves, and he says, you know, in the Bible it says, honor your mother and father. And he said, and there's not an expiration date. It's a lifelong and forever commitment. And to honor your mother and father, not till they die, but forever, you know, not till you're 18, not till whatever, and he said, so if you're not, um, you know, if you're fighting and you're fighting amongst yourselves, and he was looking right at that row of her kids, and I mean, that even about stuff that was kind of like it was pretty in general, he looked right at them numerous times, look at this flying beast. Moxie, please stop. Look at that thing. Okay, so anyway, that shut down a whole lot of, um, you know, they were civil. They were not friendly. They were civil. And that was all that I hoped for. Um, I wish that it had her full name on here. I'm not... I shouldn't, well, I can show this. It's a sweet thing. So, well, it says, In loving memory of Billy Lamance, March 12th, 1945, July 12th. So it took exactly two weeks. Two, over two weeks. My mom picked out this poem, and I really liked it. My mom and the two boys. It says, it says, um, The Chain. 
I hope that you guys can hear me. Um, we knew little that morning that God was going to call your name. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose you. You did not go alone. For part of us went with you that day God called you home. You left us peaceful memories. Your love is still our guide. And though we cannot see you, you are always at our side. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. I love that. Anyway, I can't remember what um, her maiden name was, but her full name was Billy Bob Laments. Her middle name was actually Bob. I just think that's so precious. Anyway. So, we can now put that behind us and hopefully Miss Billy can rest in peace and hopefully she already has. I believe she already has. I believe she was, you know, taken from that body and not have to worry about what's going on here anymore ever so hopefully that is what happened because it was a farce it was ridiculous and it was it was disrespectful anyway I'm not gonna go there okay so anyway I love you all tomorrow was a new day got lots to do Planning on trying to get up to the city this weekend uh, to at least be there to help advise my daughter. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, but I'm going to definitely try uh, um, to just at least be there for her when she has to make some tough decisions here very shortly. Um, and anyway, so like I said, tomorrow's a new day. Definitely looking forward to it. And... Uh, Thank you all for being supportive during this time. I know you're probably sick of hearing about it. It's just, it is, again, one of those things that, you know, life is not always entertaining. Sometimes it's not funny at all. And I try not to, I try to stick to the light parts of life. But life is not about just the light parts. It's about the heavy parts, too. And um, sometimes... You have to deal with it that way, you know? Stop, Moxie. You have completely ruined this vlog. Now stop. Cut it out. All right. I love you all. Be blessed, and I will see you all later, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right?